Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm so, so excited to share with you this video because it is, drum roll, my entire 2017 Holy Grails that is all of my favorite products across the entire last year. I have a lot of really exciting products, so I can't wait to share it with you. Let's hop right in, because there's a whole lot that we're gonna talk about. I have to say, this has been one of my number one top favorite, most beloved products out of everything that I've been using. I use it every single day when I'm trying to remove my makeup. This is the Shu Omura Oil Cleanser. What I really love about this particular cleansing oil over other ones is when I'm using it to remove my makeup, it gets everything off, even the most difficult waterproof. Eye makeup, eyeliners, mascara, anything. If you have like a really stubborn foundation or really crazy intense pigmented, liquid lipstick this gets everything off. And I also really love this particular kind because it doesn't make my eyes blurry after I use it. If I use it in the evening, the next morning, I don't have any uncomfortableness. That's probably one of the main reasons why this is my number one. But overall, it's a fantastic product. I've gone through lots of bottles of this and I don't see myself switching brands anytime soon. Next, I wanted to share my face wash that I've been using all the time. I really love the Clinique Liquid Facial soap mild because it doesn't overstrip my skin and it's just a really basic cleanser. There's no harsh fragrances. There's nothing in it that's going to be making my skin overly tight or uncomfortable. It just does exactly what you want it to do. After I use my oil cleanser, I cleanse with this and it makes my face feel totally clean without feeling overly stripped. So I love this. The next product I use is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. You've seen me talk about this for years and years and years and I've still been using it religiously twice a day every day and it just is a nice layer before I put on any of my serums or moisturizer to just retain the moisture in my skin after I've washed it. I also like that it adds a lot of extra vitamins and minerals. Mainly it adds just a little bit of extra balance and hydration. Next, I've always always preached about finding a really good sunscreen for your skin and what I've discovered this this year that's probably my favorite thing is using a physical sunblock especially with my whole process of being pregnant having a baby breastfeeding I wanted to make sure a lot of my skincare was going to be healthy for my skin and my baby long term so I have been completely won over by this this is ISDIN actinic care eritophona actinica ultralight emulsion I don't know what language this is in but it works really well and it doesn't break me out it has SPF 50 plus and it is 11% zinc oxide so that's an actual physical barrier that sits on your skin there aren't any weird chemical reactions and it's not going to turn into something that ends up being toxic on your skin very very important if you're just wanting to have a little bit more focus on cleaner products that are going to be healthy for you and are also safe for any babies or small children that might come in contact with your face next I wanted to talk about two exfoliation products that I am so in love with I'm pretty Pretty sure this Kate Somerville might have made it in last year's video but in case it didn't I wanted to include it again this is exfoliate I really love this because you see an instant gratification extra glowy look as soon as you use it and then the next morning I feel like my skin is just so much smoother and softer this has little fine sand particles so you do feel like you're doing some physical exfoliating as well as the chemical side and then I also really love the drunk elephant TLC Sukari baby facial which is more of a AHA BHA combination like a mask that you leave on you leave this on for about 20 minutes and this also makes my skin super duper soft the difference is you don't actually rub this into your skin you're not physically exfoliating it it works more on the chemical side but both of these I love to use about once or twice a week and it keeps my skin really soft and smooth and a little more clear and even next I have been obsessed with so many masks this year I feel like this is the year of masks for me. And I wanted to mention this one, which has been a surprise favorite. This is the Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. I haven't really tried that many sulfur-based acne treatments, but I feel like when I'm having a lot of breakouts all across my face, this just sort of helps everything to calm down and chill out. And I also like the fact that it's not necessarily salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide that's working. It's
it's sulfur, niacinamide, and zinc. And if you haven't seen my hyperpigmentation video, I'll leave a little link up here, but I do mention in that video, niacinamide zinc combination is one of the serums I've been using to help with my hyperpigmentation. So I already really trust some of the ingredients in this, plus the sulfur of course helps reduce acne flare-ups. So this is really nice because you can use it when you're really broken out, or you can even use it as an overnight mask on those really stubborn spots. And I feel like the next morning, my skin does look a lot better. Next, I wanted to talk about two of my favorite eyeshadows. Of course, I can't not talk about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is probably my single most used eyeshadow palette of this entire year. I've been all about the warm shades this year, and this has plenty of them. And it just has a lot of really beautiful neutral shades that look really nice on warmer or yellow undertone skin. These are very well used on this corner right here. Plus, I just like all of the in between shades, the ones that are more orangey and red and brown, they're all really, really gorgeous. The pigmentation is out of this world. They're buttery soft. If you haven't tried an Anastasia palette, you should definitely go check it out. Next, in conjunction with the other palette, I've been loving using this one to get just a pop of metallic shimmer on my lids. This is from Jouer and it's a Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadow Palette. This just has sort of a limited number. It just has six eyeshadows in it, but I just love, love, how metallic and how shiny and how gorgeous and how foiled these look on the lids. You can use them wet or dry. Wet, they're just like reflective out of this world like metal. But even dry, I like just pressing it into my eyelids because I can adjust how shimmery pop it looks. I just really adore this entire palette. The only one I don't love so much is Bikini, but literally the other five shades are so gorgeous, especially the darker shades if you use it as a smoky eye because it gives it more mention and the extra shine makes it look like you put in more effort than you actually did. But my favorite at the moment is this one right here called Skinny Dip, which is gold metallic and it's just so beautiful. I can't even tell you. <laughs> I have, of course, been loving for the longest time the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I use the color Punjab. I think it's a really nice match for my skin tone. It has sort of a creamy, yellowy kind of color, and it's a nice medium to full coverage. So I feel like this looks really pretty, especially in photos or in video, and it just looks kind of like a satiny finish. I know it says Sheer Glow, but I swear it's not overly greasy or shiny or anything. It is what I'm using today, and it's sort of my go-to spotlight kind of makeup because it's just so photogenic. For the makeup I've been using on an everyday basis, it's another long time oldie but goodie. It is of course my Bare Minerals Original Foundation. When I'm pregnant or breastfeeding or around children, I feel like it's really safe even if it touches their face and if you're going through any different life changes that would cause some acne or skin irritation, this is just sort of my go-to when I need my skin to calm down. I use the shade light, but I think there are quite a lot of shades that will work for medium light yellow undertone skin if you're similar to my shade. There's actually three or four colors that I feel like I can pull off. I feel like it's super easy to use and it looks really, really natural on the skin. For concealer, I've been really enjoying this Dior one. This is called the Dior Skin Forever Undercover Concealer and I use shade 21 Linen, which I would say is slightly lighter than my natural skin tone, so it works especially well if I wanna brighten the under eye area or around my nose, but it's not so light that it's going to be like that super highlighted kind of effect where you feel like somebody's under eyes are just reflecting like headlights. This is a really natural, one shade lighter to my complexion, use it just on everything kind of concealer. I really love the finish. It seems to blend into my skin really nicely and also plays well with any kind of foundation that I use. Next. I wanted to talk about my favorite bronzer. It's kind of funny because I don't have one specific favorite blush across this year, but I do have a favorite bronzer and it is this one. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Tantastic Omega Bronzer and I love this because it is gigantic. I feel like it's nice to just take a really dense big brush and just swirl it all up in there and not have to worry about going off the edges or getting a lot of flaky bits around
around the outside. It's a little pet peeve of mine. I don't like it to be too powdery. This is just the perfect color for me for an everyday kind of bronzer where it doesn't look overly purple or ashy or orange. It's just a really nice neutral for my skin tone. I don't know. I like a giant pan for my bronzer and this is exactly it. Plus, it smells like coconuts. A nice, light, not typical fragrance that's not annoying. Moving on to eye products, I wanted to start off with my favorite eyelid primer. Honestly, for eyelid primer, eyeshadow primer, I don't think it necessarily matters what brand you get. Most of them all work pretty well across the board. I love Urban Decay Primer Potion, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, but this is one that I think if you have really stubborn eyelids or oily skin or skin that creases really easily on your lids, this is gonna be the one you're gonna wanna check out. This is from NARS and it's the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. It's amazing. I love that it has a little doe foot applicator because it's so easy to put on and it just works really, really well. It's like a best friend. Gotta be there every single time. <laughs> Next, I wanted to talk about my favorite mascara this year. This is a new one for me. I know Urban Decay Cannonball has been a long time favorite and I still love that one, but I do really love this one just to use on an everyday basis. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Waterproof Mascara. And the reason I love this is because it really just plumps up lashes with so little effort. It's not going to hold your lashes up quite to the 110% that Urban Decay cannonball but I would say it's a good 95 but this is just like one swipe and you have so much volume it makes your lashes look so beautiful and lush and full so that's kind of what I've been liking more this year something that can get the job done quicker <laughs> and I feel like this is it and then for eyeliner it's so funny because I was watching an old tutorial literally yesterday and I was using one of those gel liners and I was like oh my gosh it's been years since I even thought about a gel liner because I love a good felt tip waterproof pen liner it's so much easier so much blacker and you don't have to clean an extra brush so this has been a favorite of mine for a long time this is from ico this is the i do liquid eyeliner and it is waterproof lash enhancing and it's very 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 black very pigmented and it just stays put when you put it on i like this over other felt tip or pen tip eyeliners because you don't have to wait as long for it to dry as soon as you put it on it's good even if i blink it's not going to transfer to like up here on my eyelid and ruin everything it's a very very reliable black eyeliner Finally, I wanted to talk about my favorite lip products. I'm gonna start off with this one. This is a Lancome Juicy Shaker. And I think this is a new product that came out this year, but I just love it so much. I keep one in my purse like all the time. It's what I prefer instead of a gloss because it gives you that glossy kind of tinted lip look, but it's not drying. It literally feels like you're putting a lip oil on your lips. Every single one smells really great and it's like adorable. It's really cute. The colors are super flattering, especially some of the more orangey and hot pinky tints. It just gives a really nice, natural, sparkly pop on your lips without trying too hard. And next, I wanted to talk about my Laneige Two-Tone Lipstick. This makes the gradient Korean style lips so easy to do. I mentioned it in favorites videos earlier over the last couple of months, and I just love it. It feels really moisturizing, and you need very little effort for it to look like you put a lot of effort into your lips. This particular one is called Milk Blurring. It's like a red to clear kind of color, but all of the colors are really great, really beautiful. They even have more natural shades. And it makes that whole just bitten popsicle lip look basically effortless. In terms of balms, I love a great tinted balm that works with the chemistry of your lips to give you that perfect shade that's just right for you. My only problem is all of these, this works on everyone kind of colors. They never look quite right on me. I don't know if it's my skin tone or the reaction of my lips, but they all just turn red. And sometimes it's not the prettiest shade of red. It's like a raspberry red. That is until I discovered these. This is from Dior and they're Dior Addict Lip Glows. Not only do I have a favorite from there in terms of shade, I have two favorites. I like this one, which is lilac. It's like a pinky purple, but on the lips, it literally turns into 
into the most beautiful everyday pinkish shade. It's not too dark, not too light. And then they also have a coral shade, which works perfectly well, looks great on my skin, and is the same sort of effect, but just a little more on the orangey spectrum. But I love them both so dearly. I want to stock up on these for life. They're one of my favorite go-to lip products every single day, even on days I'm not wearing makeup. I love doing this because it just keeps my lips really beautiful and hydrated. Finally, I can't round up my lipsticks without talking about a liquid lipstick. I feel like this has been the year of the matte liquid lips and this has been my favorite brand for those. This is Bare Minerals. They have a line of matte liquid lipsticks that are some of the best long lasting ones that don't dry out your lips. It actually makes your lips feel very comfortable, very hydrated, but it still has that wow factor, that high pigment, high matte look. But I think it's just really, really beautiful, feels great on the lips. And me personally, I would rather have a lipstick that feels really comfortable than one that doesn't have any transfer, but is going to make my lips super parched and peeling the next day. This doesn't do that. I love a lot of different shades that they have, and I recommend it to anyone who wants to do liquid lipsticks, but hates that yucky feeling. So I guess that is about it for my entire roundup of favorites for this year. I really hope you guys found it helpful. If you found something new out of my favorites here that you want to go and check out, or if you have something to recommend to me, let me know that down in the comments. Feel free to hit thumbs up if you found this video fun or helpful, and subscribe to see more of my videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!